the Secretaries General of National Resistance Movement, NRM, Justice Forum, JEMA, Democratic Party, DP, and People's Progressive Party were present at the meeting of IPOD, under which all political parties with representation in parliament meet to promote dialogue and strengthening of political parties. NUP and FDC, with majority opposition representation in parliament, stayed away. Their problem is they don't want to be seen near the president of Uganda. But I see them when there's a state of the nation address, they are there in parliament listening to the state of the nation. They are participating in the parliament, in the activities. If, even when uh, the resources of government are there in parliament, they are part and parcel of, of those resources, whether official or unofficial. Let's sit, take tea together, and that kind of thing, and then tomorrow we cannot even go out there and mobilize as a political party. Our supporters are being picked up, you know, using drones, people are being tortured, and all of that. And then you say, let's sit and talk. No, we think it's pretentious. You cannot be a political party aspiring to lead the nation when you don't support dialogue processes. Because then you cease to be what you stand for. And we need to free all the prisoners. It has also been noted that iPod needs to find alternative sources of funding after the Netherlands government halted its financing. This and the Democratic Governance Facility, DGF, have been iPod's main funders. According to iPod, NUP supporters took it to the street in the Netherlands calling upon the Dutch government to stop funding iPod, claiming that it is a state machinery aimed at weakening the opposition. But according to Nobat Mao, NUP supporters went to the street demonstrating against denial of bail, especially to their political activists and also state brutality meted against these political activists by the security forces, plus the quality of elections in Uganda. We have got to strongly denounce the idea of all or nothing. In other words, if I don't agree with you on everything, then I can't agree with you on anything. That is the most primitive and backward approach to the management of society. Another topic brought to the attention of iPod is the electoral and constitutional reforms. I've requested for an appointment to meet the head of state, President Yori Museveni, to discuss with him the outline of my first ministerial statement. Justice Minister Nobat Mao says steps are being taken to handle the issue of national dialogue. And I've given instructions for papers to be written on proposals for a National Dialogue Commission and a National Reconciliation Commission. Thank you very much. Is this one? DP and Uganda People's Congress have a memorandum of understanding with the ruling party, NRM. It had been hoped that all political parties would use iPod as an avenue to air out all their grievances. Sudil Yarhanga, NTV. Thank you so much.